Greetings, fellow nerds. Welcome back to another MTG Nerdfall video where we play some fun, wacky, awesome, cool stuff in standard ranked. Thank you. Thank you for being patient with me as my laptop crashed uh, last week, but we are back. We're, you know, we're coming back full swing. So don't you worry. I will let you guys know again, like ahead of time, like last time, if something like that happens again. But if you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, hit that notification bell so it'll be easier time finding me in the future. And again, also, I would love to see more decks for Fan Submission Fridays. You just drop an Aether Hub link down below, and I feature your deck on this channel every Friday. So again, uh, please be sure to um, show me what decks you are cooking with. And it can be goofy, it can be, you know, real, real meta heavy strong, doesn't matter. I'm just, I just want to see what you guys are cooking. So... That being said, uh, today we're having a little bit more fun today. Um, five color planeswalker. Uh, we are just, we're just, we're just gonna kind of give our opponent a nice surprise. We're gonna ramp as fast as possible, give our opponent a hard time, and just land planeswalkers. So, let me show you what we are working with. So first off, we got Gilded Goose, uh, just a two of to ramp, uh, glass casket for the removal, uh, Valky because um, I like this as a late drop um, planeswalker, but Valky is also good as a two drop just to kind of hinder the opponent um, even if it dies or he dies it's all good path to the world tree is actually pretty solid we're all we're playing five colors so we can use activation ability probably won't use that but it's good to search for a land uh, of a color that we uh, need because again we're five colors so we got to make sure we're hitting the right colors uh, banishing light for the removal cultivate for the ramp getting the right colors um eska um great great card in this deck actually um, can add one of any color and can also, uh, for the flip side, be really, really powerful uh, because the Planeswalker hits the battlefield. Shadow Sky for removal, Eaton Extinction for removal, Extinction Event for removal. Then we got one Chandra, uh, three Vivians, two Ashioks, two Garuks, and a full set of Ugans because Ugans is the best one. And for our lands, we have three Plains, two Islands, five Swamps, two Mountains, two Forests, and a couple of the Pathways here. Uh, most of them are green because green is our um, most common color and we do have the world tree as well so uh, to get the mana fixing once we hit six lands um, we only have two gods so we'll not be using the activated ability but um, fun card to use and a great card to use in this deck so let's get right into it um, just a little news update for you guys um, I'm almost done with this semester. Once April ends, I will kind of figure out what I'm doing the next stage of my life. Uh, but I will hopefully be able to start streaming. That's that's the real goal at the end of the day, to find time to stream. Um, and, you know, that would be super awesome. Um, and I would love for you guys to be part of that. I might stream like Magic Legends. I heard the game's not great just looking at reviews and stuff. People don't seem to not to enjoy it as much. Uh, but we'll see. I'm um, going to probably stream other games. I My friends got me addicted to Valorant. I'm not good. I was never a good FPS shooter, but I enjoy Valorant. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. But, you know, MTG is always going to be where my heart is at. Um, oh, waiting for the server. Okay, so we're going to keep this um, because we have Gilded Goose um, turn one. And as long as Gilded Goose lives, um, we can get cooking with Cultivate turn two. That's a really, really solid start for us because we would be able to grab uh, our second green source and a black source. All right. Oh, perfect. That could have not gone any better. But now we really don't have to worry about the white source. So let's grab second green and a black. So we'll drop the second green. So looking really solid. Um, I think we're... We're off to the races. Um, looks like it's cycling here. So perfect, perfect, perfect. Because we get to do this. Don't want to deal with that. And we get to make a food token if we want to as well. Which we will definitely do at their end step. Um, this is great. Eat to Extinction is actually probably one of the better cards to pull against um, cycling. Because we just, we're just going to remove... Um, that is slightly annoying, but it's not the worst. Um, sure. You know what? Let's just play the Vivian. We're going to draw a second Ugin. Okay. Um, very interesting. 
I actually forgot to make the food token, like I said I would do. Um, either way, we're fine. Even if they cycle, we have an eat to extinction. I'm just really bummed that we're drawing a second um, uh, Ugin. That's not particularly helpful, but... Oh, wow. Went for the Vivian. Okay. Um, very interesting. So, first off, let's get rid of you. And we're going to keep the land... Um, Make some reachers and I love making new friends. And the reason I did do the eighth extinction now is because I didn't want to have to deal with it um, prior to the cycling trigger. So it's good to just do it now. Um, double Ugin, not super great here. Ooh, <gasps> they didn't have a cycling card. That is great for us. Let's just get rid of it once again. They must have a lot of non-cycling cards. So this is the cycling um i'm gonna keep this as well i'm gonna make the food token now this is the cycling with the draw variant which i think power dragon was using recently um the deck's okay it's a little it's very dependent it's not like always synergistic so i'm not like the biggest fan of the deck but you know so one two three four five six so, so i can play the ugin Yep, I was gonna say it's definitely game over. So one, yeah, one win in the bag, defeating pretty con kind of common variant of a cycling deck. So one win in the bag. Let's get a couple more, shall we? Oh man, I'm like so behind on my missions, guys, because um, just the entire week without my laptop was rough. Like it was really rough for like work and internship stuff too. So. Ugh. Ooh, this is, uh, yikes. I think we got a mulligan this one, right? This one we can keep for sure. I'm going to keep this. Um, we can search for a red. Can ramp a little. Not ramp, but hopefully kind of just stay on pace here. I might actually just send the Chandra back because I don't even have one red source. So that seems a little, uh, actually the Ugin. I don't know why I thought I would send the Chandra back. The Ugin's too far away. So we're playing against Yorian Control. This is probably actually an okay matchup for us solely because we're playing Planeswalkers and the deck doesn't do too much to Planeswalkers. It's more creature removal, especially in the best of one. So Now this is going to be tough. I think I'm going to grab a red. Uh, but I don't really play red. I mean, I just drew the one Chandra. <laughs> uh, but they're not playing creatures, so I'm gonna... It seems weird. Norm, I would probably mostly grab a swamp for the black mana, but because it's control, I think it's okay. Yeah, it ended up being the right choice. So we are kind of banking on... We're banking on a lot here. I would have loved to have drawn another Path to World Tree as opposed to Vivian, but it's okay. Looks like they're banned control. They kept on top. That's not the best sign, but it's not the worst. I think they're going to foretell here, probably. Oh, they're playing Goose. Oh, they are playing Creatures. This is so interesting. Okay. So I'm going to set this for... Green. We'll see what I we'll see what the next play is. Um extinction event didn't really make much sense. I'm gonna wait till more creatures hit the board. But I have the double green for the Vivian and that's what's important. Oh, okay. So they're playing oh, they might be playing like Bant Blink. Um Oh, would have loved to play that for a white now, but it still works out. We'll go ahead and just do this for even. They get to keep the goose, but the goose is not really a problem, I think. Um, This is definitely one of the tougher games. Again, this is a little bit more on the trolley side, so I'm going to have to... Oh, interesting. Okay. All right, so we will play the Vivian here. Every 
And what's great is because of World Tree, uh, Chandra will be active next turn because I just need a six. I'm not. Yep. Oh, okay, so Enigmic. I haven't seen this card in so long. It like was a thing for a little bit and then it like kind of disappeared. So they were playing creatures, but I'm really glad I held off on the um, removal spells because I actually might just be able to play Shatter this guy pretty comfortably. We'll kind of see what happens. He's looking at Vivian. Excuse me, I got a little bit of allergies going on. But, um, Fun is doing a lot of strange stuff here. I might hold off on the removal spell until Yorian hits the battlefield. Just to remove everybody. And... Oh, okay, they're kind of playing that variant. Super interesting. Okay. Oop, I'm so sorry. I just hit the thingy-ma-bomb. Um, I could name Odd and then Shatter this guy. Does that really make sense, though? I'm not entirely sure. I think... Let's do this. Diversity is our greatest strength. Let's play the Chandra. I want to want. I'll, I'll wait him for it to play everything. Two damage here. I think we should be okay. Um, I could still name Odd and just keep everything on my side of the board. Actually, actually, even if you. Oh my gosh. Ah. Okay. Now we're in a little bit of trouble. Okay. We have Ugin here. Oh, we do have a Valky. That's not bad. I think I will just destroy everything though. Yeah, I'll let him draw. Why is it indestructible? Is it till the end of the next turn? Ew, my bad. I need to read. Whoops. Um, let's do this. Let's play the Valky. I'm going to take the Yorian, which actually ended up working really well for us. Um, I think it was still worth it. I guess I could have done Extinction Event and then Shatter this guy. Not really sure. I think we're still okay. Yeah, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Only 2 more mana for Ugin, and we're still heavy on the removal. So I think we're okay. I may Extinction Event this turn for um odd because it keeps both of my creatures on the board so yep draw a card this is an interesting deck i can see what's happening but uh what's the ult oh i don't have any red or instant sorcery so that's kind of useless she'll be useful when i start running out of cards this is cool though, I mean the opponent's doing a lot of combo stuff. I am a huge fan of Status and Champion. As you guys know, Green White is my favorite Green White Champions is my favorite deck, so. Um yeah. Probably gonna attack here. I can't just let it happen, so. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm not using Chandra for the ultimate, so I'm in no rush. Feel free to stop that. <laughs> Okay, I will. Okay, what are you grabbing here? Oh, even better, guys. This is going to be so brutal for them. I'm going to name Odd. Have fun having no board. And I get to keep everything. Wow, that was like the best extinction event I've ever seen. Let me do damage to face. Attack. And then we will make another beastie. And the turn. I'd like you to meet my I think this game is ours. We took away the Yorian, which is Ooh, Legion Angel actually not bad for them at all by any means, because they get to spam another one on the board right now. So that's actually huge. Oh, and they decide to go with another um incarnation here. Okay. Okay, Charming Prince. It makes sense. So, 
what I want to do... Hmm. This is tough. I don't have, like, direct removal. That's what's super important. I mean, I do, just not necessarily in my favor. That is a champion here. That makes sense. Okay, decides to get something really big. Wow, that is huge. Okay. So, I could just wipe the board to start fresh. That seems like an okay move. Yeah. Let's just uh let's just start over opponent. Oh, that was very loud. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. And we will make another beastie. I called and Kind of sucks cuz I really wanted land more than anything at this point, but here we are. Yeah. Brace rip ears for headphones users. I'm so sorry. I don't know why Shadow this guy is so loud. It's so obnoxious, honestly. Alright, so Bant Enchantment esque weird good stuff because they're playing Legion Angel 2. They only had two? What are you doing, opponent? Alright. Oh, you put more in the deck. Interesting. Okay. I, I suppose that makes sense. I don't really agree with that, but... Is there another Elder Gargaroth? No! Oh my goodness, what is going on? So... Let's remove one of them. You can keep the Incarnation. I mean, that doesn't really matter to me. Attack in. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make another guy with reach, so. And just keep making tokens. Vivian is honestly one of the best planeswalkers. Like, she's good in any type of deck. Obviously, better in a creature deck. But the fact that like she's still doing work without us having to use her minus two is like insane. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, yeah, sure. All that stuff happens. So they're running out of cards, which is super important. Uh, yep, Chandra takes four. Too much action. I can probably get rid of... Oh, you don't get rid of anything. Oh my gosh, this is so ridiculous. This is unnecessary. So, let's get rid of you. And I really don't need another Vivian. Ooh, Valky... I mean, I guess I'll just play the Valky. Minus two to you. Make another beastie. I'd like you to meet my friend. Stop. Victory! Alright, guys. I mean, we're kind of winning with a troll deck, which is hilarious. I didn't really expect us to be winning against... Honestly, kind of common decks. Like, I haven't seen the Bant deck in a very long time, but here we are. Should we do another one? I don't want the video to be too long, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pause here and kind of end it there. Um, again, we're just trying to have fun, and like, I love playing trolley decks, and that's just the way I am. The next videos you see will be different archetypes that you may have not seen before. Um, I'm doing Rakdos Demons and Azoria Spirits. Pretty uncommon archetypes in the meta right now, but I think I can make it work. So if you guys want to see more stuff like that, again, be sure to hit those buttons, subscribe, like, notification bell. And again, drop an Aether Hub link for Fan Submission Fridays. Would love to see what you guys are cooking. So, yeah, I'm really excited. Really, really excited. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm really excited to see uh, you guys uh, real soon. And again, stay safe. Um, and I'll see you for your next Nerdfill.